Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it is another week in my life vlog. I actually started the vlog yesterday, but I realized I didn't say a word. This is probably going to be a little less of a talking vlog just because I think it's going to mirror really my last vlog because my life is extremely, extremely repetitive and the same lately. Yesterday you saw I installed the hair that I have in, you saw that I packed, I'm packing for or, or I was packing for a trip that is today another work career fair this time is in state so it's just a couple hours away in Raleigh at my alma mater NC State um, their career fair this week it starts Tuesday next day interviews are Wednesday so I'll be back by Wednesday afternoon but um, we are in heavy career fair season right now so I've been a little bit less giving on YouTube. As I said in my last vlog, I'm giving myself grace this year. This year is my year of grace. That is my big word for this year. I need to understand that not everything can be done when it comes to social media. I feel like a lot of times I put a lot of pressure on myself that you guys are not putting on me. And so this year, some people were worried about me last vlog and like, take care of yourself, girl. That was the whole point of the last vlog. It was let you guys know I'm taking care of myself in this year. I am working up until about 2 p.m. and then I'm gonna hit the road to go to Raleigh. So let's see what we get into in this week in my life vlog. So they gave me a room next to the bell tower this time. I'm facing the bell tower, which is pretty awesome. If you are a former NC State or current NC State, go Wolfpack. I always love coming to my alma mater because it's so nostalgic to see how the campus has changed in the 11 years since I've graduated from here. <laughs> um, now, a lot has changed, but so much has changed. Like, I had English in that building, and that's really all I came on this side of campus for because I was a business major, and this is more, was more, I don't know what it is now, but humanities, English, sociology, psychology, like, all the communications, I had public speaking in there, so I flipped the camera around. For you guys who think I talk very eloquently in my videos, I did take a semester, summer semester of public speaking. So I did have a little bit of class work, but that does not mean that I'm super good at public speaking, even though I do a job where I public speak for eight hours. So that's what I'll be doing from nine o'clock till four o'clock tomorrow. No, 8.30 really, 8.30 to four o'clock is the career fair tomorrow. So I probably will not see you guys again until Thursday or Wednesday on my way back home. So let me decompress. It is six o'clock. It's been a long, 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 long day. So I need to eat and um, mentally prepare myself to be talking for seven hours straight. Good morning. Happy Thursday, you guys out there. Today it is 8.02 a.m. I'm about to head to work. I just got to gel my edges down. I am going into the office today, not because we have to. You guys know Tuesday is my in-office day, but because I have, if you guys can see behind me, my, my crate um, that's just sitting in my hallway. I literally came home from NC State last night, and I laid it on down immediately. I got home maybe at 8.30, laid it on down. I was like, I need to take this into the office because this cannot stay here. Two, I need to ship stuff for my next career fair. So I need to ship stuff so that it gets there Monday before I leave on Tuesday for my next career fair. So on this side of me, I have my suitcase that I have not unpacked yet. I need to unpack that and then repack that with the, literally the same clothing. Um, so just wash that, put the same clothing back in there, and then... Um, yeah, that'll be kind of this weekend, um, a long, long, exhausting process. I'm going to be quite frank with you guys. Talent acquisition, specifically college recruiting, is tough. It's a tough area to be in, and it's definitely an area that if you ever see, like, 
I don't know if you've ever seen job boards, it's a high turnover area, very much so high turnover. I think a lot of people get excited because it's like, I'm going to get to engage with students and I get to recruit the same way I would recruit regularly, but I'm recruiting a lot younger. I get to interact with people. I get to stand. I get to talk. All of that is, is cool. It's great. But there's a lot of logistics that go into it. Shipments, logistically getting, uh, especially if you work in manufacturing, getting people off the floor to be able to come to events like this. This takes a lot to take somebody off the floor for two days in an industrial setting. It's a, I don't want to say a nightmare because I do it and I love doing it. But I always tell people who ask me for advice, if I, I want to get into college recruiting. Once you're in it, you'll understand, I guess, more. You have to have to like recruiting, but you have to like coordinating at the same time. And you have to be a person who's a pl planner. You have to be a planner person. You just have you, you have to be not necessarily having a physical planner, but you got to have some kind of planning ability like and coordination ability to really want to do this type of thing. So oh my goodness it has been a day and then i'll have to do it again next week and um i'm just struggling i'm also struggling with this hair i'm not loving it but i'm also trying to talk myself out of not taking it out this weekend because of next week in the next week's fair because i'll be gone tuesday through friday of that week i need a hair that's gonna last but i'm not thrilled with the look of it i don't know it's not it's not bad. The hair isn't bad. It's just the look is that I'm having an issue kind of feeling myself in. Also, side note, uh -huh. um, I said I was going to catch up with you guys, but I want to say um, I met one of you at the fair. I know your name exactly. I know your name because you DM me after, but I don't like to say people's name because they don't give me permission. I don't like to like blow up anybody's spot if they were like, don't say my name. I just came out anonymously. Um, but you did DM me and we saw each other at the fair. If you ever see me, feel free to speak to me. Like uh, she said afterwards that I was with my coworker. I was with my coworker, but my coworkers are cool people. I love seeing you guys. It's the bright spot of my day and it pulls me out of standing for eight hours and talking to people and having to be this way. It reminds me that I also do content creation on the side. I almost forgot. I have not posted in February. We are February 9th right now. I haven't posted in two weeks. But like I said, last vlog. Last video was the vlog where I said I'm giving myself grace. Good morning, happy Sunday, long time no speak. Winnie is gonna be in the background acting a complete and utter chaotic fool today. But I wanna come on here really quickly and speak and say hello to you guys. Yesterday you saw we did a Galentine's Day brunch at Restoration Hardware here in Charlotte with my friends. And my friend Shauna gave us, it was hosted by her, um, and she gave us little boxes. I hadn't opened mine fully yet, but I saw she posted on TikTok her packing it, so I knew what it was gonna be and this is so cute happy valentine's day galentine's day to everyone out there this was so sweet like this is cute um so yeah that was fun and then i came home and really just had a lazy day yesterday which it was raining so much 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 needed really wish i could make a whole lazy weekend out of it so it'll be semi lazy i do need to um clean i have this chair beside me you know how you like try on a lot of clothes yesterday I didn't know what I wanted to wear I should have pre-planned that um and I was just going through a lot threw it on the couch and said I'll deal with that tomorrow tomorrow's here today is going to be a cleaning day I have to pack for my trip but again it's really a quick pack because it's really repacking what I did 
think I showed that last week. Really repacking all of those things. Need to pack Winnie up. Winnie's going to be so mad at me. I think she's going to be mad at me this whole year because I've had a lot of Winnie not with me days. And she gets very behavioral. Behavioral? Crazy. Acting a fool when this sort of thing happens. Not looking for it, but she'll be gone really the whole week. I'll drop her off Tuesday right before I go to the airport. My flight leaves at 11. I'll drop her off at 8. Come back and get her on Saturday. It's gonna be a crazy week. day today and I am spending Valentine's Day in outside of Houston. I'm not directly in Houston. I'm near a truck station that has a checkers over in the corner. Uh, sorry about my face too. I am breaking out bad. I slept in my makeup from Valentine's Day on Saturday and the facts are just leaving and staying with me. I didn't even put any makeup on because I need this to calm down but the I mean, it's zitting. The zit is zitting today. But I am here outside of Houston, about 45 minutes outside of Houston. I know you guys saw I stopped at Whataburger. Whataburger. Yes. And some people are probably throwing their phones like, girl, you don't went to the equivalent of the McDonald's. You don't went to the equivalent of a restaurant. I tell you in all my vlogs, if I've never been to a restaurant, even if it's common in the area, I'm going to try it out. I'm going to, if I'm in, you know, California, I don't have in and out I was going to try in and out Same thing goes from here. I've never been to a Whataburger in my 30 plus years of existence. I'm going to try it to see how it tastes. So that's what I did. My team doesn't arrive. They're driving down from a location so they don't get here until probably closer to 9 right now it is 5 1 p.m technically here i logged on to my computer to do a little bit of work and noticed my whole team was offline and i was like oh because it's six it's six there it's six right now so i'm just gonna catch up on a few emails because if you notice like i've been up since 6 30 and then getting here driving down the flight felt so long i don't know what it is about certain flights that feel so long when my teammates came down i told them we could go out to dinner um and we still can 
I'm just gonna be extremely tired. I do know I wanna come back to Houston one day when it's not a work trip so I can really soak up like the mall and like Houston, like Beyonce's hometown. I wanna see it, you know? She playing with these Renaissance tickets prices, but I wanna see what area birthed her. Um, so one day I'll come back, but today is not that day. This is a complete work trip. So I am in the outskirts to go to some career fairs tomorrow to then also um, career fair tomorrow, interviews the next day, and then I head back on Friday morning. So it will be nothing to see. So I'll probably check in with you guys again when I'm back in 704. I'm going to close out the vlog because I don't have much going on on this Sunday outside of just preparing for the next week. It has been a crazy two weeks that I've taken you along on the journey for. I started out putting a hair in. I've taken a hair out over the course of two weeks, but I'm back to the land of my own hair, which I do love. I do have to say I do love this. This feels more me. Feels more me than the last two weeks. But it was a, a good hair for a crazy couple of weeks with college recruiting. Now back to the grind with additional work, internships. I have some stuff that I want to get to my Etsy shop or produce for early April, not planner related content, but something else that'll be very interesting to see. So a lot to do on the work side, a lot to do on the Etsy side, and of course, more to come on the YouTube side. So make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't, we want all the love and support over here on this channel, as well as we want to subscribe so you don't miss anything, notification bell on. So again, you're notified when I upload those videos. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at lilavon89 so you can keep up with me in real time and know what I've had going on these last two weeks in real time. If you're following me over there, you knew it. You knew I was in Houston when I was in Houston. Um, you follow me on TikTok at lilavon, which sometimes can be a little bit more real time. This time it just wasn't because timing, but um, sometimes you can see a little bit more. Oh no, you did. You saw I had that hair in if you follow me on TikTok because I uploaded a TikTok with me and that hair. So. You you were weeks ahead of when you're watching this actual video. Hope you guys have a fabulous February and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.